I'm Dave Rigger, voice of the Griffins. It is National Signing Day today for Griffin football. They signed 39 student athletes for their class next season. I'm joined by Matt Williamson, a football coach of the Griffins. Let's talk about this class. It's a big class. You thought it probably would be, but uh, I guess give me your just overall impressions of this class, and there will probably be more that sign, but how, how about your overall impressions of this class? Well, you know, I, I, just from the outside in, um, our coaching staff worked their tail off. I mean, right from – as soon as our season got over, working through the bowl week and the bowl game and then heading into this last stretch at the end of January, I, I feel very confident um, about this class. Hands down, 100% best class we've had since I've been here at Missouri Western. I will stand on the table and say that right now. We've got a bunch of talented kids. Um, we went head-to-head -head with a lot of schools in MIAA, a lot of schools outside the MIAA, and we won the battle on a lot of them. Um, you go back and you look as a head coach on your percentage of kids that come in, how many commit, and how many end up coming to your school. Um, we are a very high percentage, over 75% of our kids that come on campus um, end up committing to us. So it's a, it was a good thing. Our coaching staff worked really hard, um, and I'm excited to get these guys here and, uh, and uh, get after a little bit. That's saying something, too, because you've had some good classes, your first two classes, and, and you want to battle MIAA teams. You want to battle FCS schools for these kids. Were you doing some of that as well? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We, we pulled a couple. Um, you know, one of our kids had four FCS offers, um, and Coach Horn did a great job recruiting him and uh, pulled him in right at the last second. We sealed the deal with him. And, and there was a couple other, too. There was one kid that was committed to an FCS school um, that uh, got dropped right at last second because they filled up right before the sign of date. Um, every school in our conference, other, other FCS schools were jumping on them. Um, Coach St. Louis jumped on him right away, pulled him in. We loved him up and took care of him, and he signed with us too. He's going to be phenomenal. Both those kids are going to be really good players for us. So it's been fun. The th you know, and I'll be honest with you, I always am, is that, you know, the first couple years we were going head-to-head -head with a lot of the schools in the conference, and it was about a 50-50 deal. People were getting mad. I'm telling you, it was, it, was, it was exciting to see just because the work ethic, but everybody sees the vision and what we're trying to do here. They see the foundation that we built. And when they come on campus, they see the passion with these kids, with our players, with our coaches, and just the, the community and, and all, the, all the people, the professors that helped out. Um, Josh, our athletic director, Miss Teresa, came and spoke. Um, everybody. It's, it was all hands on deck, and, uh, and we won the fight, I guarantee it. Is there a position that you went after that you had to get a bunch of guys, a certain number of players at, the, at a certain position or a couple positions that you really focused on? Absolutely. Well, when you go into it, year to year is different. You know, like last year, we wanted to sign a ton of defensive linemen, and there just wasn't a whole bunch of quality guys that we felt that, uh, that, we, that we wanted to, to go out and give a lot of money to. This year, it was unbelievable. We nailed our defensive line. Is, if, if it won't be next year, it will be the next year. It will be the best defensive line in my double. I'm not kidding. We have got some kids coming in. We brought a couple of transfers. Um, and it, that's going to be impressive. So the defensive line, there was a lot of kids. We battled scratched, clawed for every single one of them and got all the ones that we wanted. Every single one of them. It was, it was really fun to see. And um, so that, you know, defensive line, we solidified that up a little bit. Um, running back, we want to add some depth. We brought in a bunch of running backs, receiver-wise. We have a lot of youth there, but we brought in, a, you know, quite a few more receivers. There wasn't a um, – we've got a great offensive line coming back for next year. We just, and we filled with – you know, we had four very talented offensive linemen we signed last year. We nailed five very talented ones this year. Um, so we just got to keep on filling, filling the holes, you know. Um, and not I say holes, but just keep on filling the trenches. And we've added to our depth. You know, when I first got here, we had um, probably about 68, 69 guys on scholarship. We got 102 right now. So with this signing class, and uh, it's going to be fun. Um, the locker room, you know, and I tell you all the inside stuff, Dave. <laughs> I coached for 23 years, and this last year we won seven games, yes. Um, but the locker room and the team concept and the team chemistry was better than any place I've ever been in 23 years. And a lot of those guys are back. And all we did was add a bunch of high-quality character people, um, players, athletes, students. I bet you if I, if I looked at it, um, I'm going to go back and look at it. But uh, the GPA of the kids that we're bringing in, I would say it's pretty close to 3.0 out of the 39 kids average. So it's, it's pretty cool to see. You know, one thing, you, you went from one side of the state to the other in Missouri. The surrounding states. You've kind of found a niche in Arkansas. You've got a bunch of kids from Arkansas now. There's a ton of Division II schools down there. How did that, that niche come about for you guys to get so many quality kids from Arkansas, not just in this class, but even last year? 
Well, Coach Watts, that's his area down there. And obviously, I have some ties down there for working there for nine years at Central Arkansas. And, um, you know, I got a lot of buddies, and we communicate, and we, and, and we researched and went down there. And that, that was just an area. There's a lot, a lot of people don't recruit Arkansas just because it, when I was there, the population of the state, the whole state is the exact same size of the senior classes in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So the Dallas-Fort Worth area seniors matches the whole population state of Arkansas. So when you look at that, there's not a lot of schools that go there. Um, so when you go in there, we're battling against, you know, uh, schools outside of our conference. But um, I saw Pitt down there a couple times and, uh, and Southern just a little bit. But outside of that, um, we just used some of our connections. And Coach Watts did a really good job. And a very talented team from Robinson. Coach does a really good job there and, uh, you know, made to the, the, the state finals. And, uh, we signed a bunch of kids out of that school. So <laughs> yeah. it was, uh, it's been good, but um, we've, you know, we've got a little niche going there, and, and, we're, and we're spreading out. That's one of the biggest things we've been able to do is uh, our coaching staff has just worked tirelessly throughout each state that touches Missouri, and we're working, you know, heck, we got a couple of signed a kid from California, high school kid, we signed a kid. Um, you know, from Oklahoma this year and Tennessee, we're, yeah, Tennessee. <laughs> you know, so we're, we're we're spreading out, you know, and the the, the bigger the pool you got, uh, the the picker you you can be, and we're looking for those those type uh, competitive mind, great student athletes um, that want to compete and want to win, um, and we brought them here. And we'll finish with this, you know, your first class you had to bring a lot of transfers, and, and those guys now are are gone after a couple of years. You had a few last year again. Only four so far. There may be more, but it's the, the number's going down. You want to go back to, and, and you've always wanted to do this. You'll fill in with a few junior college kids, but you want to build this with four-year, five-year high school guys, don't you? And you, you kind of got into that here in year three, haven't you? Absolutely. That's that's my whole goal. Um, I obviously, you want to compete right away, um, but you don't want to sell the farm the first year you're here. We implemented some junior college kids here and there just to, to, to improvise and teach and, and, and get a base of what we wanted to do. But every year we've added seniors, and you know, last year we I'm sorry, every year we've added freshmen, high school kids, and we're going to sign 30, 35 high school kids every year. No questions asked. Every single year we'll bring that in, and then we want to supplement with the transfers and the junior college kids, um, because we we bring those kids in, we want them to transform to what we have here and who we are. When you do that in the early stages, you're bringing in a bunch of kids that. Um, the, the foundation wasn't set, you know, and uh, it was uh, at anywhere that you go. And our foundation is set, and it is solid right now. I was talking about our locker room, and, and it's fun to watch is that they pull guys in, guys flip the switch, and all of a sudden they're Griffins uh, all the way through. Looks like a great class. Congratulations. Thank now you, you just got to make him play great it. on the field, right? Absolutely. That's your job That's now. the next step. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Williamson, football coach the Griffins. I'm Dave Rigger. National Signing Day here on Griffin Sports Insider.